Hello guys, I've no have no way. So this time I've just I've no way for me to rest. I'm gonna hurry up for my next video. So the next video I'm gonna show about it's it's just Gawai Dayak so soon. Many types of Gawai is going on going on now with Surawa and West Kalimantan for the next month. For the first of June. We have two types of gawai we have for the Ari Gawai and the Andu Gawai. So this gawai is an annual festival celebrated by the Dayak people. With many Dayak people in our hometown here in Kuching, so Kuching so far in Sarawak here, and it was in Malaysia, and even the West Kalimantan, Indonesia, on the thirty first of May. And the first of June, and it is a public holiday in Sarawak, and is both a religious and a social occasion, recognized since 1957. And it is also known as the religious. It's very religious here. And here is the information. So the Gawai Daya was the concept of the radio producers. Chad Kingsley and the Owen Liang taken up the Daya community, so the British colonial government refused to recognize Daya Day until 1962. So they call it Sarawak Day for the inclusion of all Sarawakians as a national day, regardless of ethnic origin. So on June 1st, 1963, Dr. Michael Buma, a Batong native, hosted the celebrations of the first Gawai Dayak at his home at Seo Kandis Kuchin. So on the 25th of September 1964, Sarawak Day was gazetted as a public holiday acknowledging as the formation of the Federation of Malaya or the Malaysia as we call it right now. So the holiday was first celebrated on 1st of June 1965 and it became a symbol of unity, aspiration and hope for the Dayak community and it is an integral part of the Dayak social life. And it is a Thanksgiving day marking a bound bountiful harvest and a time to plan for the new farming season or other in the vows ahead. So, in this image, so the introduction, Gawai Dayak comes from Gawai, meaning the festival and Dayak, a collective name for the in indigenous people for Sarawak, Indonesian Kalimantan, and the interior of Borneo. The population estimate is 2 to 4 million people. So the Dayaks previously known as the other C Dayak are mostly Iban people. The other ethnic groups such as the Bidai people, the Land Dayak and the Orang Ulu are recognized. The Orang Ulu include the Kayans, Kenyas and Lunbawangs. They are over 200 riverine and huge dwelling ethnic subgroups in the region. So although these people have common traits, each have their own dialect, customs, the customs, customs law, territory, and culture. So the Dayak languages are categorized as part of the Austronesian languages. So the Dayaks embraced animism and paganism, but in recent time, many have converted to Christianity. So in for, for preparation, as the festival approaches, everyone will be busy with general tying up, grave visiting, paddy drying, and milling collective, collecting and preparing food and final house decoration. 
were necessary. So the mode of the celebration of Gawai Daya vary from place to place, and preparation begins early. You need food and drinks for that. You need food and drinks for that. Of course, everyone brought to host the Gawai Daya with a big ritual festival here. So they may need to plant extra paddy and organize a labor exchange. Rice may be purchased where paddy farming is absent or insufficient. So the traditional diet liqueur is rice wine called twak. It is brewed at least one month before the Gawai Daya. It is from the glutinous rice and the yeast also, the sipping and the distilling twak also. Because there are many types of food we have. So the decoration, how do you want to decorate is anything you can. But the thing is, here's the information. The longhouse is cleaned and it repaired and repainted by cooperation amongst its residents. This means that you need to paint, you need to be paid, clean, and repaired. So that's why everything must be clean. So the Gawai Daya Eve. So on the Gawai Daya Eve, people gather sago, apping, sweet, or coconut palm. Shoots which are used for making soup mixed with meats, vegetables, such as wild milling fern, fellow head. Fern, bamboo shoots, tapioca leaves, and the dayak round brinjos from the nearby jungle here. Farms or gardens are also gathered. So, after the gathering of plants and vegetables early in the morning, the poultry is slaughtered. Enough meat is cooked in the mid aged tin wild bamboo locks to make a traditional dish called. Panso or lulun in the Iban language. So the meat is first mixed with the traditional herbs like lemongrass, ginger, bongkang leaves, and salt. So anything if you like, ask me questions if you want. So the traditional dress, the dress. So the men and women may wear ni ni gakap ni gapan. It's very hard to read if you if you dare though. So the traditional costume. Especially when guests are arriving, so the traditional dress of men is a loin cloth, sira or chawat, animal skin coat, dagong, peacock and hornbill feathers, headwear, chains over the neck, silver armlets and the anklets, along with a shield, sword and spear. So the men are decorated with tribal, tribal tattoos. Which signify their life, experience, and journey. So the woman wear a hand woven cloth worn around the waist, a red and brass ring, high corset around the upper body, and worn over the shoulders, a woven bead chain over the neck and shoulders, a decorated high comb over the hair lump, a silver belt, and also. Need to remember that armlet, anklet, and orb fruit purse. In the past, it was the customary for Daya woman to have the breast bear as a sign of beauty. Sorry. In Bidayu, Daya society, Daya Boris are the maidens of the Gawai festival. So, need, you need to read that. Because for offerings and sacrifices, you need to take dinner and after dinner and dances, ngapang, pre gawai and closing of gawai's dayak, and the antique rituals and also Christian celebrations. So, how do we know the Christian celebration we have? So the Christian dayaks replace the traditional offering ceremony for prayer session. Within the family room, so the associated church service leader is called twice a year. What are you doing? Never mind, just ignore it. So, so 
uh, offering and sacrifice celebration begin on the evening on 31st May with a ceremony to cast away the spirit of greed. Moi Antu Rua, the two children or men, each dragging a winnow, winnowing basket, so chapan, will pass. Never mind, you can't. Never mind, we just. Okay, never mind, we just. I, I we just stop. ignore. We just ignore my sis. So, we just ignore my sis. Don't steal. No, Papa Don't steal if you want. She need it. Well, she stop! Need stop! It. Stop! I need it. <laughs> I need it too. So you love to hit me so much. Ah! No way! No way! You guys, so I need to wait for a sec because uh, it's a bit annoying here. So the two children or men each dragging a winning wing basket. Chap Chapman will pass each by family's room. Every family will throw some unwanted article into like the basket. The unwanted articles we have will then be tossed to the ground from the end to the longhouse. So it does the ritual offering ceremony. Miring or Madara would take place at every family room, what one after the other. So before the ceremony ritual, music called Gendang Raya is performed. The old Romic plates Tabak. And the big brass chalices or containers made of spit, split bamboo skin cutting kang are filled with food. Ah, sorry, it's just, it's just my fault. So, and drinks to be offered to the deities. So, everything is there you might seem to read again. Don't forget to subscribe, like. I just skip some, so skip some to yours now. So please don't forget to subscribe, like if you want, if you dare to. Then here is my own opinion. If you want, then you know, you know how is it. And thank you and goodbye.